very good morning students regarding chapter 1 living world today we are going to discuss the tools for study of taxonomy tools and taxonomical aids may be different for the study of plants and animals so what are the tools used in the study of plant taxonomy and to know about animal studies herbarium and botanical garden may be used as a tools for the study of plant taxonomy in case of animal studies the classical tools are museum taxonomical keys and zoological and marine parks the important components of the taxonomical tools are field visit survey identification classification preservation and documentation many tools are being used for taxonomical studies amongst them some of them we are going to discuss now the classical taxonomic tools include taxonomical keys museum zoological parks marine parks printed taxonomic tools taxonomical keys so what are taxonomical keys keys are based on comparative analysis of the similarities and dissimilarities of organisms there are separate keys for different taxonomic categories museum this is another important classical taxonomic tool biological museums have collection of preserved plants and animals for study and ready reference specimens of both extinct and living organisms can be studied next zoological parks this is also another important classical taxonomic tool these are places where wild animals are kept in protected environments under human care it enables us to study their food habits and behavior marine parks marine organisms are maintained in protected environment so this is also another classical taxonomic tool next printed taxonomical tools consist of identification cards description field guides and manuals so these are all the classical taxonomic tools it includes taxonomical keys museum zoological parks marine parks printed taxonomic tools next molecular taxonomic tools technological advancement has helped to evolve molecular taxonomical tools from classical tools to molecular tools the accuracy and authenticity is more significant in the molecular tools what are the methods used in molecular level dna barcoding dna hybridization dna fingerprinting rflp and pcr molecular techniques and approaches include dna barcoding short genetic marker in an organism's dna to identify it as belonging to a particular species this is called dna barcoding dna hybridization measures the degree of genetic similarity between pools of dna sequences next dna fingerprinting to identify an individual from a sample of dna by looking at unique patterns in the dna restriction fragment length polymorphism rflp analysis difference in homologous dna sequences that can be detected by the presence of fragments of different lengths after digestion of the dna samples and polymerase chain reaction pcr sequencing 
to amplify a specific gene or portion of gene are used as taxonomic tools. So these are all the molecular taxonomical tool. DNA barcoding, DNA hybridization, DNA fingerprinting, RFLP and PCR. So next automated species identification tools. It consists of cyber tools, for example, ALIS, DAISY, ABIS, SPIDA, Draw Wing, etc. ALIS, Automated Leaf Hopper Identification System. What is the next one? DAISY, Digital Automated Identification System. Next, ABIS, Automatic B Identification System. Then, SPIDA, Species Identified Automatically. Spiders, Wasp and Bee Wing Characters. Draw Wing, Honey Bee Wing Identification. So, these are all the Automated Species Identification Tools. So another taxonomic tools are neo taxonomic tools, ethology of taxonomical tools, and e taxonomic resources. Neo taxonomic tools. This is based on electron microscopy images to study the molecular structure of cell organelles. Ethology of taxonomical tools. Based on the behavior of the organism, it can be classified. For example, sound of birds, bioluminescence, etc. E taxonomic resources. INOTAXA is an electronic resource for digital images and description about the species which was developed by Natural History Museum London. INOTAXA means Integrated Open Taxonomic Access. So these are all the taxonomic tools. So far we discuss taxonomic tools, classical taxonomic tools, tools for the study of taxonomy which includes classical taxonomic tools, molecular taxonomic tools, automated species identification tool. So classical taxonomic tools, today we discuss taxonomical keys, museums, zoological parks, marine parks, printed taxonomical tools. Then molecular taxonomic tools, we discuss DNA barcoding, DNA hybridization, DNA fingerprinting, RFLP and PCR. That's all about tools for study of taxonomy. With this we finished this lesson. That's all about today's class. Thank you.